G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to pouring your heart out. Now, I'm gonna try something different today. Um, have you ever left some resin sitting a little bit too long and it's starting to go off and a bit hard and you think, what can I do with it? I'm gonna see if I can save it, do something pretty out of it. So this is gonna be a three-step process. I'm gonna put down a layer of black first I'm using my Platinum 360 Plus and because it sets up nice and quick. And I've got about half a cup full made up. About 120 grams, half a cup of resin. And I'm going to add some black to it. I'm using the Lorez Black Paste Midnight Black. So for the first little step here, all I'm going to do is just cover the bases as opposed to covering the tops. In some black and I'm gonna let that set up and then I'm gonna come back to you with the next step and my next step I'm gonna be mixing up some resin and I'm gonna be letting it go quite thick and then we're gonna have a play with it and see what we can do I don't know if it's gonna work but I want to try something different I've had this in my mind for a while now and I want to see if I can make it work so I think that's stirred enough nice and opaque so basically just going to divide this equally so because there's four of them and I made up about 120 grams it should be um, you know three fours at 12 so should have an ounce in each 30 grams in each Ish. I let them spread out and then I can see which one maybe needs a little bit more by the way they're spreading. It kind of tells you if they're equal by the way they're spreading. And um, we are going to fill these up to the top, just not yet. So if one's got a little bit more black in than the other, it's not going to matter at all. So let's just push that in there. Get into all the little crevices. Now this is my four geode coaster with the realistic rock edges. They're not smooth edges. They're rocky. They're not straight up and down and smooth, these edges. They look like real rocks <laughs> on the edges anyway. All right, push all that in. I think you're done. Okay, so there, pretty basic, pretty simple with that one. Let's give it a bit of a torch. Clean up my mess. All right, so that's it for the first step. Now I'm going to let this set up. And um, it'll, it'll just take probably um, maybe three hours. And then I'll come back and we'll do the next step, okay? So, pretty basic so far. Hey, anyone can do that. <laughs> All right, so that's it. Um, I'll see you in a few hours for the next step. Hey guys, I'm back. Now, I want to tell you what I'm going to be doing. I've made up uh, just uh, 100 grams, or just under, three ounces. And what I'm going to do is, <sighs> blow the dust out. <laughs> um, I actually want to do some piping with some gold. Now, I just want to make it random sort of lines. Sort of geometric is what I'm going for. Abstract, geometric, something a little bit different. I'm make sure I've got no dust in there. So my resin, I'm just using the um, 360 Plus by Platinum. These are just little, little sample bottles. Um, I only had to make up a little amount, so I just used one of those, so it's easier to pour out. Um, so basically, I've got a couple of golds here. This one is the Bright Gold by Lorez. And of course, as soon as I started videoing, it started raining. So hopefully you can hear me. 
So there's that one, and then there's the Archery Creations. This is rich gold. It's more like a liquid gold. I put them out here. That's the Lorez. That's the Archery, and that's a mixture of both. So I'm going to go with that. I'm going to mix it, the two together. My resin's getting quite warm. So I want it to thicken a little bit so that when I pipe my lines, they don't spread too much. So we'll get started with mixing anyway. And uh, go from there. I'm just gonna use this one. So I think I'll put in probably more of this one. Let's do like that much. This is only a little baby spoon. So maybe two parts of that one to one part of this one. I think, we'll try. We'll see what, we'll see what it looks like. You can always add more, hey. So I'll mix that up because one of them, the Archery Creation one, it's more like, like liquid gold. You know, it's one of those that the gold sits on the top kind of floats a lot. Look, I've spilt. Gosh, I'm making a mess already. I haven't even started. You can't really pick up the mica powder with tape. You find you have to wipe it off. All right, so basically just want a beautiful, rich yellow gold. This one here was just a bit too yellow, that one there. So doesn't look quite like real gold to me. How's that looking? It's looking good. Against the black, it should look beautiful. Add a little bit more just to make it opaque. I'm going to do it over here, actually, so that I don't spill mica powder in my on my black mold. All right, so it's getting quite warm now. So let's move this out of the way. I'm going to divide it into, well, no, I'll just put in one piping bag for now. And the rest of it can just sit in the cup here. And hopefully it won't flash cure. And, you know, I don't need a lot. It's like when you're piping the petals for your 3D blooms. You don't need a lot of this resin. Um, and then once it's set up, then we'll go over with the top coat in just clear. What do you reckon? Sounds like fun, hey? Just a little fun thing to do. I'm happy to do the hole probably about the same size as I would normally do. So that's a bit drippy, to, so it's dripping quite fast there. So let's get a little test piece here and just see what the lines are going to do. I don't want to put it onto here if it's going to spread too much. I just want to do random lines. They're, they're spreading a little bit too much, so I'm just going to let it sit for a little bit longer. Five minutes. See how where they join there, they're kind of spreading out, and I don't want that. I mean, you'll get a little bit of it, but I don't want that much. So, um, I will come back to you. I might put this one in here actually, just so that it's not so deep. Because you know the deeper your resin is, the hotter it gets and the faster it cures. So we'll just let that sit in there. Um, and I'm going to put you on pause. And I'm going to come back. I'll keep checking the heat of it, just the feel of it. I'm not taking its temperature or anything. I just want to wait till it's a bit thicker. Um, I'm going to wait for five minutes and then I'll come back to you. Okay, that was just a few minutes more. Let's, tr let's check it again. Let's see what it's doing. Can't wait too long, otherwise I won't be able to get anything out. That looks good. That looks good. All right, let's, let's do this. Move that out of the way. Get a fresh one. Now, because I don't want blobs, I'm going to have to start from out here, go right across. So it's going to be a little bit messy, but once it's dried, the resin will just kick off. So see how it's not really dripping out anymore? It's just, it's not dripping. <laughs> so here we go. Hopefully I haven't left it too long, eh? Basically just going to do this all over. I'm just going to keep going. Alright, see how that goes. Oh, look, I've dripped into that one. I've 
dripped into there. Let me get that one out. I'm going to get that out with. So, yeah, look, I don't know if this is going to look any good, you guys, but I just, you know, I just want to try something new, something different. Set that one dry a bit. All right, let's move on to this one up here. And maybe I can do them like a little bit thinner this time because they, they will spread and I'm trying to keep them straight. I don't want them going kind of bendy or anything. I just haven't gotten quite right there, have I? <laughs> okay. So this one's nearly empty. I'm going to move on to this one. I thought I'd do two rather than just do the one because, you know, as I said, it gets hot and then it sets up if it's kept thick or deep. So I'd rather do two. All right, here we go. It's getting quite hot now. It's actually starting to burn me. to make sure that I don't go into the other one. Oops, I went into the other one. All right. So you can see this one spread more. The resin's a bit thicker on that one still. Oh, I dripped in there. I don't want to drip. It's really hard not to drip, you guys. I guess it might be easier actually in... Um, in separate molds like where they're not joined like this if you just had separate ones and that way you can just go crazy and go over the top because over this one I came over the top of that one but it's all right it's probably because oh gosh are you setting up already oh my gosh it's setting up I don't think I can do another one what about you are you okay Um, Alright, I'm getting myself into a sticky mess here. I wonder if I can get another bag real quick. See, it changes so fast. It's usable and then all of a sudden it's no longer usable. Let me see if I can get one more out. I'm just grabbing another little bag. I would like to have a set of four. Might have been a bit deep in the bag. Might have left it like too deep in there. I only need a little bit. Let's see if we can get one more. That's all I'm asking for, one more, one more. This one's not quite as hot. That other one in the bag got really hot. All right, let's, let's see if I can do this one, hey? see tuck that up phew I was worried there I guess you could wait longer this one's probably going to be the better one because I can pipe a thinner line without them kind of blending so much But once you start, you've got to keep going. So it's a bit tricky just to keep going. Because you don't really want the, the blobs. So see, I've got a few little blobs there. I don't want to get, come too far over this way. There we go. I'm done. I'm done. There we go. Last one. All right. Just did it. All right. That's a big sticky mess. Clean that up. All right. <laughs> well, that was fun. I don't know, it doesn't look much at the moment, but I'm hoping that once it sets and we've got the clear on, um, it'll look pretty. And then once this gold's dry, I'll just pick that off. So uh, I'm not going to torch it or anything because the resin is too close to my mold here and torching it will um, burn my mold and the resin will stick to it. So I'm just going to leave it like that. I'm happy with the gold colour. See if I can bring you down and you can have a little look. So the first one I did, 
that one. The lines are wider. They've, they've spread. So the only way to know, really, um, is to, you know, do one and wait. See, I didn't know how long I could wait. This one is better. You can see there where the, um, where the lines join, it's spread more. And then in this one, where the lines join, it hasn't spread as much. So that one's much better. So, yeah. If you're doing this, like you could do different colour backgrounds and you could do silvers or you could, whatever, you know, whatever. I think it'd just be fun. And um, I don't think you need a lot of skill <laughs> to do this. Maybe if you're a beginner. But you do, I guess, have to wait till your resin is thick. Otherwise, you can sort of get this look. But just practice on a piece of card. Don't practice on paper towel because it's absorbent and the resin will just sort of soak in. So do it on a piece of card or you could do it here on your... Um, silicon mat that way it'll just the resin will just peel off once it's dry kind of looks like pretzels doesn't it <laughs> straight pretzels but yeah that's that's the best one so far um, see I've got a little bit of blobby just there where I've tried not to come over the top onto this one so yeah I think doing these in separate molds would be better just then you could go, you know, wee, 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 right across and you wouldn't have to worry about going into the next one. So I'll have to see if I've got some single moulds. But um, yeah, all right, well, I'll be back uh, later on today. Um, this just has to be tacky. doesn't have to be totally set. And then I'll come and do a clear coat on it. Um, and depending on what it looks like, I may sort of paint the edges in gold once we've unmoulded. We'll see what it looks like. All right, see you soon. Hello guys, it's uh, been a few hours. Look, I picked all my little bits off. They were easy to come off, I just picked them off. I think I've got them all. Righto. Um, they're, still, they're still soft. Well, I can touch them, but they're bendy. But not sticky. So I'm happy to put the next coat on now. And we're just going to put a clear coat on. So I've just made up half a cup of same resin the 360 plus and um, yeah basically just gonna put it over the top I think what I will do and I'm gonna try this one here first just to see what happens I'm just gonna spray it with some of my alcohol spray 100% alcohol uh, just because it's got lots of little areas there that I think the resin may get caught in so bring it up up high and just give it a, a bit of a <laughs> if I can get it to work <laughs> doesn't want to work lying down all right so that's got some alcohol spray on it and it just helps uh, the bubbles not sort of sticking to the any little edges I've got a lot of edges in this <laughs> all those lines so you know I don't want bubbles I want it to be nice and clear and smooth now I will try and dome these because some of the gold comes sort of right up to the side and sort of up the sides so I will dome them make them nice and full do this one just put a little bit in first and then I can divide the rest equally and make sure I've got enough and this one actually I made up to be exact I made up 100 grams of A and 43 grams of B. So it's just over half a cup, really, in reality. Okay, hopefully I've got enough. Can you see any bubbles? Has that alcohol spray helped? I hope so. Oh, look. I haven't got much resin left at all. I'll just keep a little bit, just in case... Because you're pretty full now. Actually, you're full. Let me just have a look and see which one else. Anybody else needs a bit? That one. See, it's pretty basic, isn't it? It's, like, it's not hard to do this. I might take a little bit out of this one, actually, because it's quite full. It doesn't need to be quite that full. I'm probably making bubbles now, aren't I? Put a bit in there. 
this one still needs more. Now how much resin did I use to all, all up with these? I'll have to look back on my video and, and see. I know that this mould takes about 350 grams in total. So, you know, part of it is, of course, the gold. But it wasn't a lot. It was probably only an ounce for the gold. All right, so that's me done there. Empty. Let's torch. I can torch now because I've got a thicker layer of resin and I'm not going to burn my mould as long as I keep it on the resin. So I'm going to give that a couple of minutes and then I'm going to come back and torch again. And then we'll cover it with a box, make sure we don't get any fluff and things on it. I think that looks really cool. Just for something abstract, something different, hey? It's a bit of a talking point. And then, um, you know, I'll, I'll paint the edges with gold. I think that would look really nice just to tie it in. We'll see what it looks like when it's unmolded. Maybe it'll look nicer without, I, I don't know. We'll see. Because at the moment we can see a little bit of black around the edges there where the resin's kind of pulled in where I haven't gone up and over. I've got a tiny little bit of a gap there. So that might look nice. If I put gold edge in, it'll kind of hide that black rim. So we'll have to see what it looks like when it's unmolded, if I want to paint the edges in black or not. So we'll see. All right. Um, that was a pretty quick video. <laughs> now I'll just have to wait until tomorrow morning to unmold these. So I'll see you then. Hey guys, it's the next day. I'm going to leave you up there on the tripod for the reveal to see if that works out a bit better for when I'm... See if I'm going to paint the edges. Because we don't need to re reveal the back, do we? So, let's get them out. Hope you guys like these. They're a bit different, aren't they? This is the best one. The one with the thinnest lines. Or the thicker resin. I was actually thinking I might do it in two layers, like do one layer, wait for it to set up and do another layer, so just so that we get a more 3D effect. So I may try that again. Maybe we can do a different colour with some, maybe with some silver. Not sure. So anyway, there we, there we go. That's them out. I put them in the wrong order now, haven't I? Oh, I don't know. Let's do this. Let's do the best one. Let's do the best one first and get rid of that. All right, so now I've got a tiny little lip around there because I didn't fill them all the way. So, I'll just move these out of the way so they don't get covered in resin dust. I'm just going to do a tiny little sand all the way around, just with my nail file. I kind of decided that I want to see what they look like with the gold on the edges. And where you sand like this, um, the resin kind of goes a bit white, a bit sort of scuffed. So if you're going to do that, you really do need to paint the edges, otherwise they'll be white. <laughs> I like to go all the way around first and then dust them so that I can see where I've been. I'm going to take this over to the bin. Just blow that dust off. Give it a bit of a, a wipe down. All right, so that feels better. That's all you need to do is just give it a, a light little sand like that. And just check it. All right, let's see what it looks like with the edges painted, shall we? This is my little pushing card. I don't know, <laughs> just to make sure that the color's coming down. All right, here we go. So, actually, I really need to do the sides first, don't I? See, because the side's half black and half clear. Oh, I did that well, didn't I? Half, half. I love these rock edges. Look at that. Can you see how it's not just straight up and down and smooth? It's rocky and sort of natural looking. So if you do, I mean... Doesn't really matter on this one because I'm not making a geode, but when you do your resin geodes, it's really nice to have a matching geode edge. 
that uh, golden white one I did the other day. Everyone said that looked like like more like a true geode, which is is nice. I'm glad it turned out nicely. It wasn't what I was expecting, but it turned out nicely anyway. All right, so there's the a little bit of the edge. Now, oops, I've got a fingerprint on it. That's all right. It'll wipe off. Okay, so here we go. Half on, half off the edge, and let's do our little thin line. Again, I don't like to do it a very thick line. The gold is a slightly different look. When I look at this, it's kind of a more of a greenish gold, and this is more of a, a yellow gold, the pen. Isn't it funny how golds can be different colours? I haven't marked, I haven't done the edges on these ones, so they do look a little bit different on this side. Because I can kind of see through the, the clear. Sometimes you have to go over it twice. How's that? Is it non, not blurry? You know how normally I bring you down next to me for the reveal and then paint the edges and I always struggle with the focusing of them. Is that better? Me doing it down here? So I've got the auto focus on so hopefully it's working for you. Here we go. Look at that. What do you think? I do need to go around and finish the sides. So I'll go around and do the sides on all of them, but um, I just wanted to to show you. I'll come up behind the camera now and just have a bit of a closer look at it. Hey, I'll show you the edges here. Look at that. Nice smooth, glossy top. making sure I'm not putting my fingers on the gold. So there you go. What do you think of it? It's pretty cool, isn't it? <laughs> it wasn't hard to do. A little bit messy <laughs> at some stages, but yeah, I definitely want to try again because I think I can still do better with this. Wait until my resin's a little bit thicker. And uh, yeah, I'd like to try silver. I think you need a, a dark background, but look, you can do any sort of colors, but you guys let me know what you think, whether or not it's worth doing another one, or you just go, no, nah, don't like that at all. <laughs> Move on, Julie. <laughs> Silly woman, don't like that. So there we go. All right, I'm going to do the rest of them, <clears throat> and then um, I'll take a photo of them for you. All right, thanks for watching, you guys. Stay safe. Love you all. Bye for now.